Hello, I'm David Jones, director of the North Carolina Zoo. When I arrived here about 10 years ago, we were already known as one of the best zoos in the United States in terms of displaying animals in natural settings. What we lacked though was a strong and coordinated conservation field program, something all major biological institutions should now have. Over the last decade, we have established a range of field projects that are beginning to make a real difference. One of those is a groundbreaking cultural and educational program with the East African nation of Uganda. The project is called UNITE, Uganda and North Carolina Teaching for the Environment. Although landlocked, Uganda is blessed with good agricultural resources and some of the richest biological diversity on the continent. The country has tremendous potential. However, utilities such as electricity are normally found only in the larger cities and children still walk many miles to attend schools. Secondary education is out of economic reach for most families. These are the reasons why programs such as UNITE are so important to the future of both Uganda's people and its wildlife. Our program in Uganda is very much focused on people. The only way to make conservation work is to get people involved because it's people that are determining how much habitat there is, it's people that determine how many animals there are. And we started funding workshops in Uganda for people who were developing ecotourism uh, programs in their own local communities. And what that meant is they were making money from tourists coming to their village to see wildlife in their area. They weren't going out and hunting, they weren't clearing land for farms, they were making money off the tourists. So they could still use the natural resource but maintain the natural resource. Funded in large part through the North Carolina Zoological Society, the UNITE project is aimed at building partnerships between Ugandan and North Carolina schools in an effort to help students understand and make wise choices about the protection and management of the Earth's biological diversity and the resources on which we all depend. UNITE establishes extraordinary partnerships between schools in North Carolina and Uganda to enhance conservation education. In January and February 2004, Four North Carolina school teachers traveled to Uganda to conduct conservation education workshops for teachers from eight local schools involved in the UNITE program. I'd like to give you a piece of paper and I'd like for you to create an energy pyramid that might function in Uganda. It's been incredibly eye-opening to see the level of professionalism, the level of dedication of the teachers in Uganda. Kabali National Park is an amazing place. It has more primate species in that forest than any other place in the world. And uh, we've helped fund a group called CAFRID in a little village called Bagodi, which is right outside uh, Kabali Forest. And they built a wetlands walk. So tourists who come to Kabali to see the chimpanzees, which is one of the few places in the world you can go and see wild chimpanzees. And then they go up the road to Bagodi and they take this guided walk that the community has and they use that money to fund schools and clinics and uh, all sorts of developmental programs there in, in the community. Here, the UNITE program has already made a huge impact on the lives of the students, their school and the entire community. Funds raised through UNITE have built two classrooms and a library at this tiny dirt floor school where the student to teacher ratio sometimes exceeds 80 to 1. I give to you your new classroom. They all are aware that the UNITE program has come to help them. The students here are appreciated very much. They have learned about conservation from UNITE and they have seen that they have constructed a building for them. And now they know how to use the computers and it has helped them very much. The office marts we've introduced here have impacted the ability for students here to use uh, basic technology. I was blown away by watching the students type on the office mart. The parents and the community, they're also very, very, very grateful. 
in the fall of 2003, the program had also brought Ugandan teachers to North Carolina to visit with faculty and students in schools participating in the UNITE project. Students in North Carolina now feel like they really have friends in Uganda. Linking our children with the Ugandan students has given both groups a good insight into the other's very different worlds. The North Carolina teachers kept daily journals about their experiences and they posted those to a website, Field Trip Earth. So it was very exciting for the North Carolina students to be able to keep in touch with their teachers in that way. My students, while I'm even here in Uganda, are conducting research on endangered animals and on the biomes of Africa so that there's a real one-to-one -one connection that at some point they are learning with me while I'm in Africa. I think it's really important that students understand the issues that are facing the world outside of their own backyard. And I think this project will allow me to bring some of that to the school and maybe open up their eyes a little bit. I think that the teachers here have a firm handle on the importance of conservation and they are more sensitive to the issues than many of the teachers in America are. Almost every teacher that has participated, one of the first comments they make is that this project has changed my life. For me personally, my life is forever changed by having been involved in UNITE. Uganda has made me feel small. It makes me realize that I've just got a tiny little role to play in the whole game of life, but if I play it to the best of my ability, I can have a huge impact everywhere. The dream for this project is to find funding to support it well into the future. Um, we hope to continue the teacher exchange program and at some point in time add students into that process so that we're actually having students from North Carolina and Uganda travel back and forth. We feel at this point we're building a model program and we would continue to raise money to build classrooms, libraries, provide textbooks and of course the best conservation education curriculum that the teachers can develop. By supporting the UNITE project, you can become a catalyst for groundbreaking change and progress, both here and in Uganda, and so create the next generation of wildlife conservationists.